I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find primary trigonometric ratios for given angles. The question here is how can you find primary trigonometric ratios for the following given angles? The angles are 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees. So I like to draw the Cartesian plane here and then we'll take up different points. So let's consider few points on the Cartesian plane which are one unit away, right? So if I take a plane on the x-axis one unit away, it will be one zero, right? On the y-axis, this point will be zero one and on minus x-axis it will be minus one zero and here it will be zero minus one, correct? As you can see, when we talk about 90 degrees, we're talking about this angle, correct? And therefore, we look into the terminal arm which coincides with 0, 1. Now, can you give all the trigonometric ratios from the point 0, 1? That's what the question is. Well, let me give you some background to this. If I have any general point, let's say, any general point on this plane which is x y in that case and if say if say it is r units away right in that case and if this is theta angle what is sine theta equals to sine theta will be opposite which is y over r right or you can say if r is 1, let's say, let's take a case when r equals to 1, in that case, sine theta will be equals to y, correct? So let me draw a table here to show you this. How about cos theta? Cos theta will be this x value over r. And if r is 1, then cos theta will be equals to x. And tan theta is ratio of y and x. So that remains as ratio of y and x, correct? So that is how we can find all the three trigonometric ratios. So let me write down the trigonometric ratios here as sine of the angle. Let this be the angle theta. And then we write cos theta and tan theta, correct? At 90 degrees, the po coordinate points, which is one unit away, zero, one, right? So here, the point is 0, 1, correct? As you know, the first position, that means I could write x as cos theta, right? And y as sine theta. Do you see that? That is what we had been doing here. So x and y could be represented as cos and sine theta. So since 0, 1 is the point on 90 degrees, right there, we could write sine theta as the y value, which is 1 and cos theta is the x value. How about tan theta? Now tan theta can be treated as sine over cos. This is sine theta over cos theta, correct? So one over zero is undefined. So we get one over zero, so this is undefined. Sine theta over cos theta, you cannot divide by zero, right? Now let's look into the point which is at 180 degrees, that is this angle, correct? That is 180 degrees. Minus 1 and 0. 0 corresponds to sine theta, minus 1 to cosine theta, and the ratio 0 over 1. 0 over 1 means 0. That is the value of tan theta. F this, let me write this point as minus 1, 0. On 270 degrees, the point is 0 minus 1. Now here, the sine theta is minus 1, cos theta is 0. The ratio is sine over cos, which is minus 1 over 0, which is undefined. Just as we had for 90 degrees. For 360, the point is 1, 0. That means that sine theta is 0, cos theta is 1, and tan theta will be 0 over 1 or 0. So as you can see, using the coordinate points, we can very easily find the values of primary trigonometric ratios. So what I did was, in short, I took a point 
one unit away along the axis I should say the terminal arm forming the given angle right I should use the term terminal arm is it okay so these were the points which helped us to read the values for primary trigonometric ratios it's a very important exercise and I hope you understand and appreciate it thanks for watching and all the best